Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. The picture shown on screen is of the initial screen that is shown when you create a new blank presentation in PowerPoint. This is the default screen that has appeared since PowerPoint 2013. This view is called Normal View and is one of the many presentation views that are available in PowerPoint. This is the view in which you will spend most of your time when constructing your presentation. A presentation is the default type of file in PowerPoint. Within the presentation file, you create and modify individual slides. The slides within a presentation contain multiple text and graphic objects, which create the contents displayed in the individual presentation slides. When you close a presentation, PowerPoint will prompt you to save unsaved changes within the presentation. The following lessons within this chapter will examine the elements of the PowerPoint environment. New PowerPoint users should first familiarize themselves with the various tools and elements within the program's environment before attempting to create a presentation. The presentation slides appear in the main screen of the application window. The application window consists of the title bar, the ribbon, the status bar, as well as the presentation slides. The most important tool to point out is the ribbon at the top of the application window. The ribbon is where you will find all of the tabs, the button groups, the buttons and commands that are available to use within the program. The file tab within the ribbon allows you to access the backstage view. In the backstage view you will find the most common file management commands such as creating a new presentation, saving presentations, accessing PowerPoint options, and printing your presentation slides. Above the ribbon is the quick access toolbar. You can easily add buttons to this toolbar for the commands you use most frequently and want to always have available. Several important buttons are already set here by default, including Save, Undo, Redo, as well as the Customize Quick Access Toolbar button. You can also easily remove buttons that you have added to this toolbar. At the top of the window, you will see the name of the current presentation appear to the right of the Quick Access Toolbar in an area known as the Title Bar. Below all of the tools, the current presentation is displayed. This is where you create the actual slides in the presentation. Most of the actual work in PowerPoint will be done in this area. At the right side of the presentation, you will also see a vertical scroll bar when you have multiple slides added to your presentation. You may also see a horizontal scroll bar appear at the bottom of your presentation if your presentation is wide or if you zoom in on the currently selected slide. You can use the vertical scroll bar to scroll up and down through your slides. You can use the horizontal scroll bar if shown to scroll left and right across your presentation slides. Speaking of zooming the presentation, you can easily zoom in to increase the magnification or zoom out to decrease the magnification by using the zoom slider that appears in the lower right corner of the window. If your mouse features a scroll wheel, you can also press and hold the control key on your keyboard and scroll up with the scroll wheel to zoom in or scroll down with the scroll wheel to zoom out of your presentation. Also, to the left of the zoom slider, you can see the various presentation view buttons that allow you to switch the view of your presentation as needed. Now that you have an overview of the major on-screen elements, where they are located by default and what they are called, you can now look at the general use and functionality of the various on-screen elements within the PowerPoint application. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.